So in my last video, I briefly mentioned about having trouble getting my tips put on when I was getting my exhaust done on my charger. Essentially, they took a long time to get shipped, and during that process is when I just ultimately decided to get the Super 10s done as well, while they're already under there. But you guys have no idea how excited I was to get the tips finally put on. I hadn't had exhaust tips for almost over a year, and I just really wanted to see them on there. So I dropped the car off, exhaust shop calls me a little bit later, and says, hey, Super 10s are in, but the tips don't fit. What's going on guys? If this is your first time tuning in, my name's Anthony. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. So yeah, essentially the exhaust shop called me and said that they didn't feel comfortable finishing the back because the tips would be touching on the rear valance. Long story short, I got there and yeah, the diameter of these beautiful tips I just bought was too much. So, I have three options. Get different tips and take a loss because they're out of the box, buy another valance, or make them fit. So I didn't want to get new tips obviously because I love these ones and after searching online for hours for a rear valance to replace it, I could not find one for my RT that would actually fit the diameter of these tips. I could only find ones for the SRT392 in the Scat Pack style rear bumper cover. So here's a little video on how I was actually able to modify my current valance. So essentially I thought of a couple different ways about how to do this, but I ultimately ended up coming in with a heat gun and I lightly heated this up and I actually ended up kind of pinching this plastic piece together to be able to move it away from the actual part where it was touching the tip. So on top of that, I ended up actually having to cut a little bit of it off, but I cut it underneath with some scissors, which is obviously the kind of the easiest way to do it for me, is I cut it here and then I ended up sanding it with a little bit of medium grit sandpaper to kind of smooth it out after. Um, I could probably still touch it up a little bit more at the moment, but I've been really busy at work, so I haven't really had time to kind of tweak it more. But, so essentially, yes, that's how I did it, as I took the, the heat gun, bended it back from here, sanded it down, essentially just widened the area where the tip needed to fit, and honestly, it hasn't been rubbing at all, and I couldn't complain about it. Thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions about what I did today, feel free to definitely comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for more content. Follow me on Instagram at Brand Auto Media and I'll see you guys in the next one.